Will you go back to the roots of the series? Roots of the series. Roots of the series. To the roots of the series. What do you mean by that? Uh, p -p 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 Pimp, welcome back! Calling this game Mirage is the most historically accurate moment in this franchise because a Mirage is exactly what this Return to Roots was always going to be. Luring you in with nostalgia, then smacking you in the face with reality. Reality being, this is a $50 Valhalla DLC flipped into a full game that tried to superficially hit what people love most about Assassin's Creed, but was ultimately held back by the fact that it's half-assed, and the other half of the ass was reallocated to their marketing strategy of if we say it enough they might just believe it how about a nice big cup of shut the fuck up they tried to return to roots in an engine that's antithetical to everything those games were therefore the game never feels like an assassin's creed game should it's like trying to play basketball with a football or like they're trying to make an enzo ferrari on the chassis of a truck they're just hoping when people play it no one would give a fuck and they don't ubisoft buried our expectations of them six feet deep in a plot right next to splinter cell to the point where i've seen many people give this game the nod just for being in a city but i mean if a city's all it takes, you ever assassinate somebody to Bad Moon Rising? Now I've heard some members of the flock ask me, Blake, you already knew this game was gonna be just the way it is. So why even play it? Simple. If you have the audacity to call your shit a return to roots, say it two more times and I'll appear in the mirror like Mary. I'm a slave to the nostalgia and it's been a decade since I've had a snore. Look, he's all tiring. He's all tiring. <laughs> you know, some people are criticizing this game because it's a return to roots. UAV online. And they brought back all those outdated mechanics from Assassin's Creed 2, like the half aborted door Dark Souls Combat, the Stamina Bar, the $40 in Pay to Win DLC, impactless combat, only one weapon, and movement feeling stiffer than me when I'm playing dead or alive. But that is classic, rooted in red-pilled, sandy-ass Creed. It feels like I'm the only one that's been playing since Assassin's Creed 1. Before I get to that, let's return to Roots real quick. Some guards came through recently. Oh. Look, it's just like Assassin's Creed 2. You could earn a knife that grants you 10% more damage with throwing knives at close range if you're able to quickly aim, throw, and hit. Or you can buy the $15 dagger that fucking lights people on fire every time you parry and then burns their body to the pits of hell. You could grind out all the shards to get the hidden sci-fi sword that grants you 50% damage at the cost of half of your health. Or you could buy this $5 sword that has Zeus fucking defibrillate everyone you're fighting for half of their health. Then get you a dagger that tacks on 50% health for the hell of it. Ding never forgot their roots. You forgot your roots. Anywho, let's return to roots real quick. I mean, still more of a return to roots than the entire Witcher trilogy. Sorry, I mean franchise. I forgot that we had Code Red, Baja Blast, and Operation Voodoo on the way. But speaking of which, don't crane your creme brulee just yet because there's a long way to go. After Valhalla was seen as a 100-hour prostate exam by many, Ubisoft wanted to return to the roots of their combat by changing... Just about nothing. This return to roots has gone so far, I, I can't even tell which is which. They're practically twins. I mean, I'm old enough to know back in Brotherhood, we had that classic camera angle, the stop and struggle fantasy, the inability to hip fire tools, the stamina bar, impactless hits and takedowns, no ability to fight with a hidden knife, and you definitely couldn't pick up enemy weapons. Except I fooled you that entire time. You weren't watching Brotherhood just then. You were watching footage of Mirage the entire time. I got your ass. Oh, I figured you out. Did you see how all those hits had weight? How you used tools without aiming, how the game had flow from one enemy to the next, and how it was glued together by a plethora of impactful, awesome takedowns to make it feel like more than a shitty Dark Souls clone with low time to kill. But I just fooled you again, because you were just watching Brotherhood gameplay right there and you didn't even know it! Get rooted, bitch! <laughs> But because you just brought takedowns into it, I just wanted to say I'm glad they didn't compensate for having a single weapon by packing the game full of awesome takedowns that could fill out a 27-minute montage like Black Flag because that would really piss me off. Oh, my blood would be boiling at how much that wouldn't be a return to roots. This? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh.
This is so much better. Oh, thank God they they know better, which is why they also kept the stamina bar from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. You you remember that, right? It's a real fan favorite. A cornerstone of free-flowing fun combat. But more than anything, this really shows their commitment to realism. The Ubisoft that removed the crossbow for historical inaccuracy is back! Let's return to Roots real quick. And speaking of Odyssey, let's return to the roots of stealth. They returned a scalpel to the roots of the AI's brain so that they could sever the connections in the prefrontal cortex, which makes them unable to leave their safe space of the outpost and instead triggers their long-range stoning tactics like you just came out of the- I'm gonna have to stop the video right there. I am very proud to announce we will be selling the final minute of this review as its very own classic Return to Fleekazoid Roots video next year. Something for the- something for the classic fans of the Fleekazoid franchise. Return to Roots. Pack it up as Graham, pimps, if you don't. I'll make like Oppenheimer and return your entire city to its roots. Uh, with them being more than willing to cram their predatory bullshit into everything they make and the Black Flag remake soon approaching, when should we start to worry? My advice to you is to start drinking heavily. Thanks to the flock of pimps for bankrolling this Return to Roots, and another massive thanks to the pimperers for funding the Return to Roots Game of the Year edition coming next year. Bye, pimps.